Well, China hasn't just been an economic powerhouse. The country's sheer number of people has also allowed China to claim a top spot. But John Phipps says that could soon change. He joins us this weekend with John's World. As early as next year, 2023, India will surpass China as the world's most populous nation. Now, this count is approximate and symbolic, of course, but it may have more importance than many suspect. What is most interesting to me is the coincidence of Chinese population peaking, it is dropping right now, just as India surpasses it. I can't find any deep demographic meaning for this curiosity, but given global fixation with Chinese population for so long, it will take a generation at least of social studies textbooks to move our attention westward to India. An additional coincidence is the selection of a first generation British Indian prime minister at the UK, Rishi Sunak. As China descends into deeper authoritarianism under Xi Jinping, India, the world's largest democracy, will offer countless comparisons as it attempts to match economic and geopolitical power with its population growth. Despite a large and educated upper class, it remains economically sluggish with a nominal GDP about a quarter of China. But the advanced world has long viewed population as a burden, and it can be in some impoverished countries. Think how long we farmers have embraced the mouths to feed image of China. As population trends are now clearly showing declining global population by 2100 and plummeting numbers in developed countries like the EU, the world might begin to look at people as more than an economic load. India will likely never match China's spectacular but probably unsustainable rise in the last couple of decades. India's government is bloated and inefficient by any standard, and like all democracies, many of their policies are contradictory and poorly administered. India will also struggle with the effects of climate change in, in Asia, the irregular monsoons they depend on, and rising temperatures in an already sweltering country. Nonetheless, I expect India to regularly but mildly surprise the world with their steady progress. The history of their peoples is dominated by widespread poverty, but those conditions are trending toward a better future for the low-income sector. There is no indication India could become a major U.S. ag export target, despite that population growth. In 2021, they bought about uh, $1.8 billion of ag goods, but half of that was tree nuts. India's growth simply adds to the shift of economic power and perhaps political power away from the West to the East. Thank you, John. Well, after the break, we're heading about an hour down I-70 from here to visit two brothers who just may hold the keys to a treasure trove of tractors. And one has a strong tie to the Show Me State. Machinery Pete takes us to Concordia, Missouri to visit the Cordes Brothers for Tractor Tales next.